the first thing that attorney should do in a personal injury case like car accident you have to make sure that you look for all the policies you mm. know the obvious ones obviously you know if there's an at-fault driver their bodily injury will, will pay you if they, they cause the accident but um, if that's not enough you got you have uninsured or underinsured motors through your uh, carrier um, but in this particular case what had happened was there was a small bodily injury policy that the at fault had the person had a small UM policy and then the attorney who this person fired and now hired me uh, never looked to see if that person's employer would cover employees who are in a motor vehicle accident mm. for UM and sure enough I get the policy and review it and it, and it did Wow but this other attorney uh, to, to trigger your right, your entitlement to any UM. There's a statutory rule you have to follow to a T. You have to send a registered letter to the UM carrier before you accept that BI money that gives them the right to subrogate. And mm. they have to waive that right. Hmm. And then you could accept that money, have your client sign a release. Well, you didn't even know about this policy. So that wasn't done. So now I have a situation where malpractice occurred. Oh, There's boy. a $100,000 policy that the client should be able to tap into but won't be able to because this attorney dropped the ball. Wow. All that could have been avoided if the first thing you do as an attorney is just make sure you do the, do the homework, find out all the potential policies, go right. over it with your client, and then proceed. But obviously that didn't happen here. So wow. I got a big mess I got to clean up. Man, that's interesting. <laughs>